All right. Let's play some more Jimmy and the Pulsating Mass. Woo! Beautiful little slideshow over there has been updated to adjust for the new battlers we faced. I did not take the time to edit the save and add some more monster furniture. We'll be fine. You can always do that after this one. When last we left off, we were in Ashby's. Just having crossed through the television. We've got our new form, the 50-style vampire. Let me re-familiarize myself with what was going on here. Give me Buck Helga. Do I have any particular interesting plans? I was probably to do some stuff with a rotting jacket lantern. How did I adjust Jimmy's equipment? I gave him back, yeah. Well, that's definitely what I planned. Okay. Let's fight some new friends. Ten dollars, twenty dollars, fifteen dollars, my goodness, what a deal. Sign me up. Expecting the hug monkey to grab us and, uh... Issue the grapple status effect. Not too bad. Is it? I guess it is. How about that? We've gotten worse for removing those damn things over the years. So irresponsible. Oh, come on. You didn't finish the job. Well, there went Buck's attack. Buck was going to finish the job. <laughs> get enough imagination out of these stupid animals. Nope, just wanted to check to confirm what the skunk had. The porcupine on fire. Beat up Jennifer. Just go ahead and burn them all down. 
Get rid of every single one of them little bastards. Oh, yes, I forgot. Here we go with the vision obstruction again. Woo! Now they're all evil and shit, everyone. Ah! More dangerous. But hopefully more profitable, as far as... XP goes. Yep. Confidence, double imagination experience, and a compact mirror remind me. Alright, some magic defense. Okay. Neat. Necessary? No. I'd rather keep everything I've got going right now. Some trees with some eyes there. Mm. Yuck. to heal for Jimmy. Keep it rolling. Jimmy's about out of the goods. We'll give him a Chaco Cola. I don't think I'll push all the way to the end of this dungeon. I will probably backtrack to get a heal in. Okay. File that away for later, Grim. Shit's only mildly, mildly uns unsettling. <laughs> mildly. Oh, good. The porcupine goes before Jimmy does. Great. Delightful. I love miasma. Mom, you're gonna have to finish the job and take some damage here. So it goes. Nope, didn't get take some take any damage because we you did finish the job. Good. That was a good amount of stuff. Just the one. Alright. Now if you use your God-given right to go nuts, that'll cost 20. Just take it on the chin. I guess that deep mucusy growl was the sign of something terrible. Yuck. Definitely made the right choice going after that enemy first, then, in other situations. So it goes. Oh, 
There we go, Hug Monkey. Welcoming, warm, comfortable. <laughs> Damn, even with a crit, that wasn't good enough to finish off Hug Monkey. Well, that one was what? That one boo 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 was? Stop that. Throw down a save here. Forget exactly where the hell I'm going here. I'd like to see about that toy box. Assuming it is back here. And I definitely want to go back and deal before I get to the end of this dungeon. This place of horrible miss. Good work, Buck. Yeah, there's no way to go there. Okay. It sure is, Frogsworth. It sure is. Keep on rotting Jack O' Lantern. Yeah. With the loss of Jonathan. I wanna go ahead and start getting some of that delicious, delicious magic attack. <laughs> I understand. I like revisiting Jimbo. Oh, I have been. I got a little bit of cash. Should be able to replenish what I lost. What I spent. Miss Robin? Yeah. That's right. Yes, ghost cash. There was a fountain here. I did not need to go all the way back to home. The clubhouse. That's okay. Yeah, I took care of that stuff in there. I bought that thing. Okay. There wasn't anything I left back behind here, was there? <laughs> I know it can be difficult. I just don't, uh... I just don't want any, uh, commentary about the game. About stuff that, uh, hasn't been seen yet over the course of the streams thus far. But I understand the difficulty. Not at the point where I can just ignore these fights, huh? Okay. Well, I don't want to fight this low-level trash. Just fight the higher-level stuff. And I'll just stick to Goon for now. It's 
all definitely been flashing. I think I talked about this during the first the first playthrough, how I was like, damn, this is all still red exclamation marks. Yeah, I grabbed this toy box. Yep. Just trying to remember trying to find the other one I missed in this area. I can always come back here later if it super bothers me. Um, what have I been doing? I've ended up with plenty of goon and bird. Some sunflower, some blob. I hadn't put anything in jack-o'-lantern until the start of this broadcast, and we just got vampire, and I never super cared about that form. I just need to cross over now. As for Dream, I don't have anything I'm dreaming about. Just playing a game. just healed the group, too. Blech. Didn't think I'd need to do more stuff here. Well, fuck you. Forgot how much damage that grab was gonna do. Uh, I can transition to gymming have him do the thing, but we'll just go ahead and throw down alarm clock on him. Yeah, I guess we'll fight this too. I think that's enough of these fights. As fun as it was. And I'm fucking done with playing with this toy box. The time that passed between last session and next. I can always come back around here and hunt for the damn thing. Can't remember every detail about this damn game. It might be... Oh, I remember where it is now. Okay. Silly Grimoth. I remember. Yeah. Yeah, okay. We are going to be coming back here again anyway. <laughs> fresh! But you're not enticed? You don't think this is fresh?
No. We're done. No more. Give me my damn boss fight. I didn't say it beforehand. Ah! Jimmy, what are they doing here? This is a special place. Just for you and me. You can throw me away, Jimmy. You can lock me up. You can burn me to ash. But you can't kill me. I'm always going to be right here with you, Jimmy. We're best friends, Jimmy. I know because when you first saw me, you just had to take me right from the shelf while your mother's back was turned. Jimmy, you'll never love anyone as much as I love you. We don't need anyone else. It can just be you and me here. Forever. Get you some Jonathan Bear, everyone. That's right, the perils of children's programming. I forgive what stealing the stitching does, but damn it, we're gonna do it. Ah, good. 800 points of damage. Good hit. Good hit. Now, let's uh, throw a Roman candle at Jonathan to get Jimmy out of that mouth. to transition like this while I've got the mana burn going. I don't have to. I just have Mom throw another Roman candle. That's what we'll do. You are out of points. Roman candle! That's what your resources are for. Use them, dammit. I think I want. I think I want Buck under my control still. Let's go ahead and hit heal him up. All right. One more bully for the road. One more bully for the road. to disease mom, you bastard. Alright, Jimmy, it's time to exercise your god-given right to go nuts. Well, I think you're gonna be faster than Jonathan, though he's not sticky anymore. I think it's just Buck. I don't know, I wasn't paying attention well, and I should have been. Well, we'll find out. Yeah. Go get him, Burb. You're a Burb. Ah, I can't release Mom. He is alert. It's 
one thing to save them Sturtles for. Mom! Well, good news she got released. <laughs> yeah, let's get some time. None of that reeling back and, and skin writhing everywhere. None of that, sir. Based on that health, I think I'm gonna switch to bear. Jimmy doesn't have really great normal attack because of the weapon I have him equipped with. This should be fine, he said, choosing to believe that was true. But crit. Slither has it as well. Sick. No, Buck. Hold on, buddy. I might be able to finish this without healing Buck. This pulverizing light. That wasn't enough damage. Definitely wasn't enough damage. Definitely wasn't enough damage. It's like you didn't do that. James is in a pickle! Resources come back. Not a big deal. 128. We'll startle him one more time for the road, and Buck will finish the job. That, by the way, is a great reminder of how dangerous grasping is. As Mom chewed up, what's left of her was spat out. The final toy chest is behind where Jonathan, where Jonathan Bear is. Today's a special day, everyone. You know why, don't you? You know. It's another day I can spend with you! Thank you. 
Buck's equipment has been removed. Jimmy wonders if he can learn magic here. Oh, you're up! <laughs> Mom! We're not gonna shake, Mom. It's another pod! Dun dun dun! Large man in there. Just covered a green goo. Just laid there until it rained. And he ate all the food. Never helped. Oh, guilt tripped. speaks. What a beautiful voice. That guy, he's unimportant. It's got sent south to Kingland. I'm a married woman. Aww. Anyway, yeah. Mom's now discovered that, uh, Jimmy stole Jonathan Bear from the store. I forgive you because I love you. Don't need to make it up to me, though. Moving some things around on my screen here. Give me a moment. There we go. So, Mom's in the party. Now it's just the two of us. And my glasses were cute. Bum ba ba. Welcome to a new world, everyone. King's March. Forgot he wore that damn thing. Why are you wearing a dress? I don't know. Some weird blocky guys put it on me and told me to sit here. Bot's good as any. Jimmy thinks he's played this game before. Indeed, Jimmy. Indeed. We can go around exploring this stuff later. Let's go. We've got a ghoul and we got a goblin. And we've got fire. Apple clock? No kidoki. Perfect, we divided the damage so that neither of them died. That's skilled gameplay right there. You can't convince me otherwise. Ah yes, the bridge. I'm hiding. Welcome to Kingland. Jimmy can rest here and go level up later. 
Welcome to Kingland. It's ruled by the king. Well, it's actually the chancellor. The daughters were taken. Oh no, not the dark demon. At the bottom of the dark dungeon. Ah, nobody's crazy enough to do that. The dragon went to the west. Aren't you a cutie? Chancellor's outlawed music. Great singer and runs this place all by herself. Is there nothing she can't do? Hey, Miss Robin. Yeah, as a matter of fact, you can get me some things. Get some blocky armor. Yeah, we can buy the medieval set later. Let's, uh, replenish on a few things. Using the spring-loaded jacket that makes me quicker. Unfortunate to lose out on that agility, but I think that's worthwhile. Summary dress? Yeah, we'll definitely replace that. We lose some attack there, but that's probably okay. Probably. I still got her with the red sneakers on so that she moves super fast. There's gonna be only two of us in the party, though. I don't know whether I care about that so much. I thought this was the place to set up shop permanently. We try to buy everything with copper coins. Oh, no. buying that moth-eaten jacket. Like, oh yeah, mm -hmm, that'll matter. He said laughing. Ah, ha, 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 ha. We'll be back with her momentarily. Park's my favorite place in all of Kingland. What's going on up here? It's a dog. Dun-dun-dun. Hide! Is Jimmy brave enough to shake the dog? The bank. This is preposterous! I'll have you know that I'm a close personal friend of Mr. Grouse. Corporate policy. You have a terrible credit history, sir. What? What? It's perfectly popular. Very rich and important man. Loan cannot be approved. Well, I never. Standard business. Of course, Mr. Marvelous. Of course. Very complicated. A pit of vultures. I... I would like all this money in my pocket, please. Well, sure. Looks like then I could just put in any number that I want that exceeds the amount that I have in the bank and it just withdraws it all. Maybe I already knew that and I forgot it. It doesn't matter. Yes, yes. I know. Do I just goof around and give her the loaded dice? You know what? Sure. Let's do that. Fuck it. And we'll make mom slower. Because I want some damage right now from mom. Master criminal, she can keep it too.
didn't end up buying anything, though. What the hell? Why did I bother getting all that money out? We can just get the furniture later. the catastrophes. Long live the goddess! All hail! Timothy? Yeah. Oh, Captain Fish ended up coming over this way. Secret treasure, of course. Knight's Tower. Knights are here. I want to be a knight. Only knights belong here. They hate to have to throw me in jail. No, buddy. It's not good. Don't do it. We are bereft of princesses. How does one fight a dragon? <laughs> yes, we might come back here and miss fall. Why wait? Let's misbehave now. Cycle the wrong way. The wrong way, Grimoth. Ah! Going to jail. It's a throne! I'm the real Chancellor! If the king has been listening to an imposter, the new guy doesn't even look like me! It's all a setup! It's a setup! the arena, right? Yeah. No arena action until the princesses are rescued, and then we can have the arena. Looking forward to it. King's Tower. The king lives here. Boiler room. Slash bedroom. Mirror. The Sleeping Beauty over here, I recall that. No entry permitted. Oh well. Jimmy just doesn't have the credentials. Tis a pity. Alright. Let's go beat up some nerds. Let's head east. I know. It's the opposite direction of where Lars is, but I want to go east. Wang. Damn it! <laughs> I have to go west. The princesses have to be returned first. Fine. 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 Have it your way. Stupid game. I joined the cruise because I wanted to learn the cardinal directions. Did you know there are four? Jimmy? You got fish here? Super secret hidden treasure! Of course, the treasure is located in the Temple of Eastern King's March. Yeah, 
Yes, the monuments are fascinating. What could it mean? I do believe I have that all written down in my notes from my first playthrough. Let me take a look. Yes. Looks like it. I'm going to trust that. Past growth would never lead Kerr and Grimoth astray. Deep abiding respect. Oh, yes. A bunch of money. Give me your lunch money, little puke. Gotta remember that mom's not as fast as she used to be. Oh, you startled her. A monster. Mom also does not act before Jimmy now. So, <laughs> no chance to steal the $300. Hey, welcome to Chuff Temple. Oh, the four heroes who defeat a dark demon. Third temple built out of gratitude. One for treasures. Never lets the treasures out of his sight. Ah, yes. Damn it. Fucked it up. Fucked it. I think I'm supposed to have him look the other way, though. I'm just being stupid. I'm like, maybe this treasure chest will block line of sight, he said laughing. It's an everything bag. It's a bag of everything. Item effects are 50% stronger. Immunodeficiency. Yeah, we've certainly been hit by immunodeficiency before. It makes it impossible to heal, so you better take your vitamins. We got a few of those. Watermelon fridge, apple clock, bunch of money. Get him, Jimmy. And if that thief is still alive. Well, so much for that idea. Didn't quite work out that way, yeah. Weird having, uh... Helga go after Jimmy now. After so much of the game where that wasn't true. Maybe I just won't worry about trying to steal that money. Though it'd be delicious. Oh, rubies! 20% interest in the bank account. Hooray! I don't have a whole lot of money in there, but it was a little bit. Hell, this time the Goblin Thief survives. He's gone. Let's head back to the fountain. That's why I was being so cavalier with my points. Let's go. Ah, yes, the mirror.
Down that way is doom and gloom. It's too dark for us to see our reflection right now anyway. Speaking of mirrors... Nice crit, Jimmy. Oh, brave Sir Knight, you've come all this way to save me. I'm the eldest daughter of the king. Thank you. And so then the princess follows us. Hooray! Got an angry nightman over there. with his pineapple drawers. Take that money, Mom. Yeah! Get you some... Pretty sure this beef is gonna run. It did not... Note that uh, the Naga battered her eyelashes and Jimmy became afraid. Jimmy is uncomfortable around those kinds of moves. Now, I thought that would work. Look, I'm fucking busy right now, but okay. We'll play with you. Oh, Jimmy got slapped. I guess, yeah, it's down below. Now we create light, I choose to think. What do you think about this place, Jimmy? Jimmy thinks it's where a final boss might live. Princess Raspberry is gonna kick the shit out of the dragon. But the dragon is very tough. Okay. Mud Golem. You little buddy. steal the control flower, and I do believe it loses its shit when that happens. I'm watching you! Four hundred and seventy-six crit. Okay. Ooh. 
fit back down here momentarily. Must be the other side. Okay, combat. Okay. Get it, Mom. Yeah! Must be where Princess Honeysuckle was. No. Whatever. Alright. Second verse, same as the first. Yeah! Give me that money. I'll take the opportunity to head back to King Lan. Refill up the moxie points. Finger snap. What are we doing here on this form? Level 9. Okay. Library. It's got this book. It's tattered and faded from time. It's impossible to even read the title. Alas. What now? Same fight? Okay. Same moves then. Immunity deficiencies are relevant if we never take damage in combat. I don't need to heal, it's not a problem. Yep, she's been a master criminal for some time. Klepto. eyes. Whatever. Might be quicker if I just emergency exited out of here. But I won't. Take that money. I know what's coming. I have concerns the goblin thief might run, and if that happens, mom is gonna get a face full of counter from this goblin knight. So I will use Mana Burn, see if I can get Jimmy to finish the job there. Or with nods. Good. Yes. Too clever. 
too clever. Way forward is now open. Eh, we're in decent condition. We got to avoid that combat. Level 10 now. Hooray! I was thinking about getting level 15 with uh, the Squawker, wasn't I? I was. We can do that later. Now we can have Ghost Fire and Combust! There's a fountain right here. I completely forgot about this thing. Cool. Great place to kick the shit out of enemies. Let's have some fun with it then. Enemies. You are doomed. Yep, that's exactly who she's referencing, Summer. Who can compete with Lars? I feel powerful now. Let's move on. Hey, Lars. Lars, you're all right. Yeah, it's pretty nice here. Lars's girlfriend now. But Lars. We're family. We're family, Lars. We belong together. Okay. Uh oh. Dragon fight! We shall use fire on the dragon. Yes, after we sticky the dragon. Don't really think the speed will matter, but we'll do it anyway. Dragon has nothing to steal, and let's introduce you to Lars! He's got an undulate ability, provoke attacks, he's got a counter stance, he's got an afternoon nap, he's got a metabolize. Have a mundulate. Now we're already faster than the dragon anyway. Nice crit, Mom. Should have used mana. No, no, it's fine. Ooh, good counter crit. Beautiful.
Yeah, he's fine. Ooh. Shady. Everyone guards. Nice easy fight to get you introduced to the new player character. Not a big deal. Didn't even need to do any sort of crazy startling. And takes care of the dragon. Ta da! Okay. We had something special here, I can't deny that. But it never would have worked out between us. For one, you're a fire-breathing dragon and I'm a regular person. You gotta go now. Sometimes you have to love someone enough to let them go, I hope you understand. Poor dragon. Poor dragon. What'd you do to end a video game? Take the princesses back home. I keep wearing that. Kinda comfy. Now we can party. Alright. So. Lars. Uncle Lars lives with us because Grandma got died. He plays video games with me and owns lots of toys. Lars is lazy. He's got 5% HP regen every turn because of his laziness. <laughs> Give him the god-given right to go nuts? I don't think that's necessary. <laughs> Let's put that back on him. Give him even more regen. Yes. No. Got a trinket boy arm him with aluminum foil and... an everything bag. I will also give him pulverizing light. And... Whatever. That ability. So we can emergency exit to get out of here quicker, but that's okay. Go get into a normal fight here. Give him the goods. We got our we got Uncle Lars with us now. Alright, we can just walk out of here normally. I will... Save. We'll be back here later. Let us deliver the princesses. The babes. As they would say in Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure, Jimmy! 
You need to come with me by the order of the king. Oh. You're awesome. You see my daughters. You're a pretty cool guy. <laughs> Big political victory. But a really jerk move. Sorry everyone can't be as cool as you, Jimmy. Item. But he saved us. Eh. Eh. Blind best forgotten. We can finally sleep in our own beds, thanks, Jimmy. Please, Daddy. Okay. You are now a knight. You are Sir Jimmy the Semi-Transparent. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> that title. <laughs> oh, built off of what form Jimmy's on. I think I was a vampire last time? I don't remember what form I was. No, well, we're Sir Jimmy the Semi-Transparent. Hell, I could have been this same form for all I know. And or convinced me to have you arrested for trespassing. It doesn't change the law to make trespassing legal. Oh. Speak of the devil. Give that chancellor a piece of my mind. Chancellor! Yes, my leash. It was perfectly fine. I am afraid you're mistaken, my liege. Jimmy isn't a good boy at all. He couldn't have saved your daughters. In fact, he kidnapped them. We're lucky we were able to apprehend him before he did anything to them. You're right. You're going to jail to think about why kidnapping is wrong. But Daddy, that's not what happened. No. It's the law of the land. Now that your daughters have returned, perhaps this would be a good chance to reopen the arena. Excellent idea. You all shall be forced to fight for our amusement. Aha! Hello, Jimmy. I'm speaking directly into your mind. I'm going to make sure that you die in the tournament. But first, I'm going to kill your uncle. Then, I'm going to kill your mother. I'll hunt down your father next. Oh, and your brother? I already have him. Enjoy the tournament, Jimmy. Fight as hard as you can. It will change nothing. Great. Great. Jimmy is feeling all amped up. He's going to win. Mom. Mom. Uncle Lars? No, no, step out of it, Lars. <laughs> Hopeless Mook here totally forgot his armor. You fool! Timothy? All outsiders have to fight the arena. First match is gonna be against the Scriff. That's right. Get amped. Scriff? Hungry for war. 
Then we have Princess Raspberry, who snuck down here to fight in the damn tournament. We have Information Guy. A massive 32 person tournament where it's kill or be killed. Nah, I'm good. Information Guy looks confused. Over here we have this knight who got thrown in here for abandoning his post. That's right. We have the aristocrat. Money buys everything. I'm going to buy my way to the top of the tournament starting with this young man. The Shakedown. Bashicus Maximus. He's the king of the arena. Crack skulls. Captain Fish. Blocky people surrounded him. He almost punched one. Good work. <laughs> Manny. First fight is with Mom. <laughs> Mr. Marvelous. Yes, things will totally be alright. Marvelous luck, mm hmm. Henry. Yeah. Yeah. mean to talk to him again. I meant to shake him! Best to work together. It's kill or be killed. Chancellor's been a really bad influence on the king. Tell me more! I don't, get, I don't want to get disqualified before I see what happens to the princess. I'm just hanging out in the tavern. It's illegal to be an outsider now. You know, we're adventurers, but we're not very strong. Oh, no. Professional adventurers. Mm. Okay. What do we got down here? We've got... Yo, Jay Slice! Long time no see! Man, this whole dev tournament thing is really cramping my style. I really want a Jeff, but the guard has zero chill. You son of a bitch. Toot soldier. First match was Captain Cold Train. Cold Train himself will shake him. Keep your hands to yourself, lad. There's a black belt here who's trained their whole life in the art of kung fu. A pink haired punk, hmm? Chuff. Chuff's the name she in my game, that's right. The legend himself. And Mulgrin. Used to travel with Chuff once upon a time. Oh, you're pretty strong, aren't you, old man, young man? You're not rich enough for my taste. Count your blessings, you little monkey. Damn. It's the great sage of Mulgrin. That's right. Over there is a buddy bee. Hey, Jimmy, I was looking for pollen, hit an updraft, and wound up here. There aren't any flowers here at all, dude. Kind of a bummer. Hey, hey, it's fun to play with friends this far away from home. Uh, you might not want to go back home. Oh, poor low level goon. Rocky Road flavor, because I like chocolate, but the nuts make me pissed. Primo shaking, dude. Feel like you've been doing this as long as me. Johnny Knives. Oh no. Punch Tanaka has amnesia. You've not do that right now. 
big enormous. Oh, come on, I don't want to fight you now. You probably just beat me up again, and I don't really want to deal with that. Then Dee Dee. All I care about is beating you, kid. You've humiliated us twice now. You push me around, kid, you're dead. Huh? A conversation with everyone, and that was truly delightful. Hey, combatant information guy. Hey, information guy here. We're currently locked in a massive 32 person tournament where it's killer. What? Shut up. Go through the door. Ban Bashik is Maximus. You'll be his opponent. Finally, time to feed the beast. Feed the beast. Feed the beast! Feed the beast! I've never seen someone go down so fast. I don't get it. I didn't even hit the guy that hard and his head smushed all over the place like a ripe melon. Jimmy. Hopeless mook. I am not ready. Let us be burb. Let us be... It's not gonna matter against Hopeless Mook. Hope you're ready for this. It's gonna be good. Oh, man. Punch each other. Hi, buddy. How's it going? Ah! Yeah. Hopeless Mook is building up courage. Let's squawk at him. I don't have any power abilities here. That's okay. We can out DPS. Oh no, he's gonna do the thing. Squawk at him again. <laughs> oh no, he's gonna do the thing and thing again. Let's dance. I've never fought the Mook this long before. Entertaining. I'm <laughs> just playing with him. I'm so mean. Stop trying to hit me and hit me! Five experience of three dollars. <laughs> Jimmy is victorious in the first round. Many battles have fought over the rest of the day to strong carve a path to victory over the bodies of the weak. The other day, sixteen competitors remain. They are stronger, better. What manner of warrior will Jimmy fight tomorrow? One thing is clear, only the strong survive. Night falls. The remaining competitors are taken to their cells. Jimmy. Oh, Jimmy. I feel awful. You were such a nice boy. Sorry. He, Dad keeps doing whatever the Chancellor says. Don't know why. I believe in you, though. But I can't let you out. I can't break the law. Hey, wake up. See my match? It was total baloney. Oh. Didn't give you the chance to fight. How unfair is that? Sorry, I woke you up. Just in the bed. What the fuck? Thank you. 
Okay. Bomb. No sleep. Whoever mom fights next is really gonna get it. She's frustrated. Timothy lost. Oh! The aristocrat. Everyone has a price. Magicus Maximus will be fighting someone named Helga next. Be fighting mom. Henry Frog? To fight Johnny Knives next. This adventurer is alone. He said to fight Captain Fish. Who never spilled a drop of water out of his fishbowl. Down here we have Coltrane, who dispatched his squire. Chuff, who defeated Mr. Marvelous. The sage who prevailed against Princess Raspberry. Yes, wink. And then the whole clan here. Yes, Johnny. He's forgotten. He didn't want to hear your feelings. <gasps> Talking saxophone next. Farewell, low-level goon. Big Enormous, who fought Lars last round. <laughs> but it wasn't much of a fight. But it engaged Lars. Norman now has to face it. the boss. DD, who defeated the Kung Fu Chump, and now must face Jimmy. Much like I fought the ghost, who vanished immediately. Now he's got a fist filled with white hot rage. I don't know who I am, but I do have these sweet muscles. I figure I'm probably some super tough dude, so that's the life I'm gonna lead. Okay! It's time to fight Didi. We're not gonna... We're not gonna play around this time. We're gonna treat her like the threat that she is. That's what she deserves. Can't really adjust my gear more than what I got now, but that's okay. We can keep what we got on. Because I am gonna rock a burr form. So sick of you every time I fight you, you beat me. Well I'm I'm gonna do whatever it takes this time. Just go ahead and stun myself to open up. What the hell, why not? He looks tired. That was a good turn pass. Just, I, I want to scream. I tried everything, but you still won. So embarrassed. How can I be so weak? In the second round of the tournament, Jimmy fought a formidable opponent. In the end, he was victorious. On this day of the tournament, eight battles were fought. Eight warriors tasted victory. Eight warriors tasted only the shame of defeat. Eight warriors remained to face another challenge. As each warrior falls, the remaining becomes stronger. This is the dance of the arena. Each new partner more potent than the last. Also, this particular dance floor is probably covered in blood, which makes it sticky and slippery and wholly unsuitable for regular dancing. Good thing it is a dance floor made for battle. Night falls. The remaining competitors are taken to their cells. Jimmy tries to sleep, but he can hear voices from somewhere. Hey, buddy. I'm okay. I'm, I'm in the basement of all the other losers. Not that bad. I'm used to being a loser. 
Many of these people down here think you're pretty cool. Just miss hanging out with you. Whatever happens, I hope we get to play more. But other people want to talk to you too. Like Timothy. He's trying his hardest. Gonna try to bust out everyone. And then Big Enormous. Who can't talk to Dee Dee right now. Gotta help him, Jimmy. He's just lost something. Salutations, young man! You know what? In the... I gotta admit, I'm not feeling it for Captain Fish to just go around. It's not doing anything for me. There's Manny. Everyone's okay. Mm hmm. Good work, Henry. We have Bashkus Maximus, who's down there. A lady was like a whirlwind before I knew what it was passed out down here. Mom won. Of course she did. I don't have any. You'll be fine. That's right. We'll see. Oh, Jimmy, you keep winning. I'm so proud. We're paired up for this next round. I hope you're ready, because I'm not going to go easy on you. <laughs> oh, no. Joff accepted a bribe, but the wallet is gone. Now how will you bribe Coltrane? Thank you. Definitely true. Bulgrin? We'll see. The Sage? Who must fight Mulgrin next? Johnny? Who got paired with the boss? Stab some sense into him. There you go, Johnny Knives. Time to face mom next. Yes. We shall remain bare. Hi, honey. Isn't this fun? Punch each other. I really, I really love this sprite of Helga. I say sprite, this artwork. It's so delightful. Alright. Let's get after, Mom. Slaps Jimmy. Will not be deterred. Oh no! Super low health! Mom! It's the first time I lost in the arena. <laughs> uh, she takes some time where she, uh... Like, I've seen her, like, whenever I played this game last, like, actually take some time to, like, heal you. So I thought that she would stop attacking and do that, which was why I thought, like, just doing these 10% harming attacks would be fine. And it wasn't. So, we just basically rewound back in time before we had the match. 
Okay, I was wondering how that would happen when you failed in the arena. Cool. I played myself. Oh, the can't stop smiling. Helga applies first aid. Oh, she healed herself that time. Helga says, are you feeling okay, honey? Applies first aid. <laughs> See? This is what I was talking about. <laughs> she didn't want to do it last time. <laughs> uh. Damn it, Casey. Oh, are you alright? If you got hurt, I just don't know what I'd do. In the third round of the tournament, Jimmy fought an unexpected opponent. He would shake the feeling that she went easy on him, but that doesn't matter, for in the end, he was victorious. Four more warriors fell today. Let me go ahead and put the wrist brace back on, because I flung it down after. <laughs> that silly business. The true power of a warrior lies in their resilience. Only the most steadfast warriors have made it this far. The semi-finals now loom on the horizon. As the end of the tournament draws near, Jimmy thinks of all the warriors that had fallen along the way. Some warriors fought with all their hearts, some gave up before the fight began, and one thing united them all. They were all losers. They didn't have the power to forge their own paths. This is the power that Jimmy held inside of him. Night falls. Remaining competitors are taken to their cells. What? Hey, Mom. In the semi-finals. Feel overwhelmed, it's okay to give up. You're doing your best, but I don't want you to get hurt. Hey, Jimmy. We're down here cheering for you, Jimmy. And there's Johnny Knives, who lost to Punch Tanaka. He might not remember who he is, but the boss is still the boss who will make it through this. Hey, Lethal. Done with yeast. No more yeast. All knows. Early in the middle of intense arena punch each other action. <laughs> My word, Serval. What you've done to Lethal's teeth. Timothy brought back food for the whole for the whole gathering of losers down there. Timothy is also adorable. Of course, Captain Fish. I'm done with hearing you talk though, Captain Fish. Chuff, we got a profit. Now the cell before you can say somebody stop that handsome Veith. They locked me down here, that Helga lady. That's not right. They've got to think of my safety. Okay. We've got no one up here. We're the only one up here now. It's Coltrane. Tell you, you've got talent, lad. Might have taken you on as a squire at another time. We've got Mulgren. And then we've got Punch Tanaka. That bald loser thought he could hold a candle to me. Well, let me tell you something about Punch Tanaka. Punch Tanaka is... Uh... Wait, who's Punch Tanaka? <laughs> Whatever. Talking to you is making my head hurt, kid. I hope you're ready to get pounded next round. No, don't beat me up. Your opponent this round is a mysterious sunglasses-wearing man who refuses to tell us his name. Are you ready? No. Let's change our gear again. We shall bring out the magic once more. Believe in magic. Yes. Set the guard on fire. Alright, Punch Tanaka. I've been doing some thinking. I've been able to make it this far in instinct alone. I think I was meant to be a gladiator. I hope you're ready, kid, because the pain train's about to leave the station and you just bought the last ticket. 
punch each other. We meet again, but now Jimmy is on his own. About to, um, wail on you, kiddo. Yeah, well, I got magic attacks, champ. Your counter will not avail you here. You better not attack me, cause I'll, um, I'll hit back. He did hit back. Oh my goodness. Quick, Jimmy. Stuff these ants in a log. It's okay. They let you keep the items. It's, it's not a duel. You're allowed to use items during the duel. It's okay. We'll, we'll rock without mana burn for the rest of our time. When I said that, I lied. I want to be all mana burned up anyway. Aha! We'll sticky him. Of course. Now I have to be more cautious, for now I do have magic attacks. But it's okay. Because I knew he was going to run. What the fuck, Dots? I have the heart of a gladiator. If I'm not a gladiator, then... Then what am I? In the semi-finals of the tournament, Jimmy fought his most powerful foe yet. The battle was close, but in the end, he was victorious. Four warriors into the arena. Only two remain. Who will Jimmy face tomorrow? Will it be Mulgrin, the legendary sorcerer? Will it be Coltrane, the swordsman from a distant land? The finals begin tomorrow as the sun set, the sky turned red. To most people, this was normal sunset. The warriors of the arena, the sky was stained with the blood of their comrades. Night falls. The remaining competitors are taken to their cells. What? You did it, Jimmy! Mr. Tanaka seems really down. I'm trying to cheer him up. And Lars is gone. Yeah, we've seen how well Lars does when he's alone. Hey. Kid. You beat me pretty good back there. I still don't know who I am, but I know I can't be a professional fighter if I got beaten by an eight-year-old. Funny thing, though, I don't feel angry about it. Feels like I'm figuring things out. I'll find my way. I just gotta keep searching for it. And there's Timothy, who's been helping out people. Chuff left. Uncle might have snuck out alongside Chuff, though. Hmm. Oh, Princess fucking Stinkweed. Yes, yes, blah, 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 blah. I don't have time for your Sundere shit. Mulgren, who lost, and we are facing Cold Rain in the finals. Seen Saw play that good. I will stay away from. I was thinking whether I wanted to adjust any of my things here. <laughs> that was an important sound, everyone. I won't accept anything otherwise. Sliding in an afternoon nap or a rampage. Or full heal shenanigans. Whatever. Howdy. Test your metal. Test your might. Coltrane. Today my blade will sing. Just kidding. What do you think Lars fucked off to? Behold! Hey Jimmy, I guess I'm saving the day. 
Lars rescued me and I got to fly on a dragon. Isn't that awesome? It's no big deal. We should probably get moving. Well, bye, Coltrane. Bye, King. Bye, Chancellor Pulsating Mass. Bye, everyone else. What the actual fuck? Wow! That was entertaining! goes. And that's good. Alright. Good work. Good good work, team. Everyone's back together. Hooray! Now, I won't be able to return to Kingland yet. Because, you know, I'm a criminal and all. There he is! We should be able to half about around here. So we will. Welcome to Mulgrin Temple! He was one of the four heroes who defeated the Dark Demon. He cast a powerful spell to protect the great treasure story. Only the wisest, most well-traveled adventurer could decode these runes. Oh, yes, the runes. Let me pull out my notes. Translate what the hell I wrote for so long ago. All right. So... One is the pillar. Two is this up arrow. Three is, as I described it, a chalice. Four was a fork. And I skipped five, and I have six, seven, and eight. So if six is that circle pole, then seven's the side, and eight's the totem pole, that would mean that five should be this down arrow. Then six is the circle pole, seven's the sign, and eight's the totem pole. Ta da! It's a fountain! It's a wizard's robe! Wizard's robe? Oh yes, 2% MP regen. 2%, uh, uh, huh? Don't know about that, Casey. Don't know about 2%. Not, that's not really gonna counteract the, the mana bird. But we have it. It's ours now. Goodbye. Farewell. Or Vedasen. Goose. Now we're through. We'll go back in. <laughs> oh, there was nothing of relevance up there. Steal that money, Mom. It's your money. Right. Mom still doesn't go first. <laughs> that Goblin Warlock, though, is gonna do some bad things. Oh, well. Come up here. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, it's one of the symbols. I see. And we fly across that little gap there. Whatever. What? What do you want from me? You wanna die? 
they want to die. Go to the clubhouse. back onto rad sneakers mode. But I'll probably still leave the monster teeth and jacks on her. That way she's got a bit more attack power. Lars is cool with what he's got. Actually got slightly more attack than Mom. Now, Jimmy is also fine with what he's got. Definitely want to bring some magic attack to the fight. Definitely want that speed in the fight. I got Lars. How many Roman candles do I have? Four. That combined with Jimmy being able to transition to Bird, I think that'll be good. What am I looking at at items? Okay, yeah, I don't need to. I don't need to transition to a prior area. I'll briefly poke my head over here, though. Dark dungeon. We can access this. Here's Jeff again. Get some dungeon points. And there's a huge store here, including some spoilerish items. Yeah. I don't know how much dark dungeon stuff I'll do on stream. I'll probably show it off once. But I don't know for how long. I might also very well. Uh, edit the save to finagle myself in some dungeon points to have fun with that. But these items could really make me too powerful. But I might decide that I deserve that kind of power. I'll give it some thought. Here's an information guide to teach you all kinds of things about the Dark Dungeon. The Dark Dungeon is a board game. Move around different spaces that have different things. Have encounters in there and special doohickeys. When you get out, you can have some dungeon points that you can use to buy things. Some things are just for the dark dungeon, and then there's a bunch of nice gear as well. Alright. Yes. Interest? Ah! That would have been a situation where I could have saved and loaded until I got interest. We got ourselves a vaccine, huh? Resists immunodeficiency. I don't like needles, but I want to be healthy. I'm actually going to put this on Mars? Because I don't want him to get immunodeficiency. For any upcoming adventure shenanigans, we don't have to worry about Mom getting it. And if Jimmy gets it, uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, he gets it. <laughs> I just want Lars too, since he constantly regens. What? Ah. Uh... thinking about how much I want to throw down here, and I guess I will. Yeah, that's right, I gotta get used to Mom going first again. I might go get that money back. Depends on what 
beautiful deal is here. Robbins has become a dear friend. This journey would have been difficult without him. A very special sale. Some of these goods are expensive, but they are rare. They're only available for a limited time. Basically, this is an opportunity for you to have a store. In case you don't unlock the area to the east that takes you back to the clubhouse that gives you a teleporter. At least for the time being, Kingland is not open to us, and this includes some really nice stuff. Nutrition cubes, super choco colas, and fire alarms, which are more upgraded versions of this stuff I've already got. It is tempting to come, come and buy these things, since they're here. But I think I'll, I'll handle not having them. It's a clubhouse past Eastern King's March. Perhaps you can go there if you need a break. Indeed. One over here. Ah, another one of those. Ah, let's skip it. It's a buckler. It lowers Lars's attack, but it really increases his defense and magic defense, and that's kind of what I want for him. Although uh, having that extra attack power could end up being more useful in what's to come. We'll stay with us for now, provisionally. Yeah, let's do it. Just thinking about my condition. Do you think you can just run away? No. It doesn't work like that, Jimmy. I'll follow you everywhere. You see, I'm smarter than you'll ever hope to be, Jimmy. Take whatever form you want. I develop the strategies to destroy you regardless. Now we get to enjoy the 8-bit form of this, the chiptune boss track. It's Chancellor Pulsating Mass, everyone. Team until black spit runs down his face. Seems like we're all faster him, so I don't need to sticky him. Let's temporarily swap to vampire. I know vampire does have that uh, black fountain attack. It's very nice. The other stuff here, I'm not too keen on, but... Reflect enemy magic for one turn, but you can only target one person with that. The main reason I don't like that ability. He's doing a thing that I'm not so sure about. Don't know whether I should guard or not. Attack. The answer to that question is, yes, you should have guarded Griffith. <laughs> well, now what do I do? Drain his health? Sure. I'm not sure... I don't know how much, like, normal attacking Chancellor does. So I'm loath to just have, like, Lars do counter stances. Robs and twitches. Eat it, nerd. All 
All right, I'm just out of MP for a black fountain. A pity. Just have to remain pumpkin. And you cram a Choco Cola down Jimmy's throat. Because you have the everything bag. 500 damage crit. Nice. Super drain. Yucky. Three thumbs up. <laughs> well, he went on a rampage against Lars anyway. Didn't even need to undulate. Delightful. Let's do it now. No, let's feed another Choco Cola to Jimmy right now. Here we go. It's another thing. I can always rock bird form and uh, have Jimmy startle, but I want the damage that Jimmy's doing right now. So we're just gonna have Mom throw out another one of these Roman candles. You know, good reason why I invested in them so long ago. We'll have the undulation happen now, so that next time we do pull Rising Light. Eden Chancellor. Jimmy's not going to be able to attack next turn. He's going to be out of Moxie. There it is. Now we don't have a startle opportunity free. So yeah, so Lars has been mind controlled. And he attacks himself. That is so fitting for Lars, and it's so sad. <laughs> <laughs> it really is! <laughs> That's so sad! Oh, fuck me. Oh, no. Hey there, Pewtero. Thanks for upsetting Bob Page. I forgot he had a barrier. Yuck. Yuck, 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 yuck. He's close. We're gonna have Jimmy go for the kill again. Because he acts before Chancellor Pulsating Mass. And I'm hoping with this amount of damage, I'll be able to complete the mission. Elga combined with... Ah, it's really close. Yes! Good crit there at the end. Not the most harrowing boss fight we've had. Definitely not. We still have plenty of resources there. It's a really good fight, though. Do you consider this a victory? It's a fantasy, Jimmy. Just like the rest of this world. Go ahead. Pretend to defeat me. You can do it again, and again, and again, and each time I'll just come back. The next time you see me, my form will have changed, but I'll just be stronger. You think you've won, Jimmy, but there's no end to me. Wait! Whew. Give me a second. Well, let's sit down on the throne isn't doing my stamina any good. <sighs> Sir Jimmy the Semi-Transparent. I apologize. I have broken free of the mind control. Jimmy is the enemy. Kill him. Snuff him out. Jimmy, you're just a really good person. It's good to be now. King Lamb. All of Evanship owes you a great deal of gratitude. 
You're always welcome in Kingland. Hooray! Let's go back and celebrate. Hey, buddy. Alright. Fine. Fucking drag me into a damn fight. Waste my fucking time. Let's, uh, see about making some acquisitions, yes? Vitamins. That's why I've only got a pair. I'll probably be back to grab this other stuff before we leave King Land. For the time being, I'm well, ever chip, I should say. We're gonna head back to King Land for the moment. We're gonna get the money out of the bank. Hi, how's it going? I could spend time talking to all these people, but I don't feel like having conversations right now. Robin has already moved on. We can always come back and get this furniture. That's not gonna add a whole terrible lot in this medieval set for us. Yeah, I don't consider that a priority. Let's spend all the money, blow it all on coconut hookers. Hell yeah. Coke and hookers! There we go. Buy a bunch of those. That way we can have these nutrition cubes and super choco colas. And fire alarms. Even better versions of the items. Hooray! Thanks for the special deal. Jimmy thinks he's played this game before. Yeah, we've already heard that from Jimbo. I don't know, man. These nutrition cubes. They taste like cardboard. I'm not sold on them. What do you want from me, peasants? Oh, you want to bleed. <laughs> Go on, then. Bleed. That was delicious. I'd love to have more of those encounters. Got any more of those fights? Where it's just that mob of dudes that I could beat up easy? Master criminal time. Ah, nothing we're gonna bother with trying to take. Heal. Counter this. We're gonna start seeing more enemies who have Reflect. That's what uh, bounced back Jimmy's magical attack. Counter resolves physical attacks. Naga over there has not been finished off. There we go. I think that'll be fine. Never ended up taking the bird to level 15. Matter of fact, we've actually gotten the Jago Lantern up 13 levels. It is now my. No, not quite my highest. Boom, still the highest. If you are unfamiliar with this game and how the mechanics work, uh, Jimmy's got a job system here with his imagination. We've got a number of different forms. Uh, when you level up the forms, uh, they add raw stats to him. 
and each form has a modifier on Jimmy's stats. For example, Blob is slower, but has more defense. Goon uh, has less magic attack, but is luckier, and so forth and so forth. Each also have skills that you can end up slapping on, that Jimmy can take with him into different things. It's not just active skills, but passive skills as well. Uh, to modify the members of the other party, you have two manual slots that you can use to help twist them, and gear can really end up changing how the characters play as well. For example, I've usually had Mom with these rad sneakers, which certainly don't have much in the way of attack power, but they add so much agility that assures turn priority for me in cases where I want to be able to do an action first. For example, whenever I throw out the Roman candles with Startling. Because it doesn't help to startle an enemy after they've taken their turn. You want to do that beforehand. Unless they've, like, done, like, a grab or something. I should have just come down here. I forgot that this was not one, like, like, total together area. Whatever. Anyway. Jimmy can't wait for his next adventure. Let's do it. Would you like to leave Everchip? Yeah, we can always come back. Let's go! Thanks, dragon. There's another pod. Jimmy has a sudden urge to count to ten. Sacred Lantern. This is where the lost find their way. The lost indeed. Like Timothy. And that fountain. And Dee Dee over here. And Miss Robin. And Johnny. And who's that? Love Lobster. Cuttlefish. Is it really you? I've missed you more than ice cream. I've missed you more than meteor showers. <clears throat> oh, Russell Sprout, Jimmy and I found Lars. Isn't that wonderful? Yes, of course, Lando Bean. When I crashed here, I cobbled together a makeshift wind of Velocatrix and determined my position. I was afraid you would never make it here, but here you are. Dad's been up to his old antics and tricks. He's been doing a lot of pondering about the bees. You've seen it since then, haven't you? A pulsating mass. I've read all about it. What it's capable of. This world's in great danger. You must venture to the Temple of Sight to see, witness, behold first step. Lars? Hey. Yeah, Dad. Totally been on top of it. And we now have a full party of four once again. Andrew is my dad's name. Sometimes he says hard words I don't get. <laughs> You'll see, uh, some bullshit from time to time. And it's a it's a gag among folks who enjoy this game. A uh, real piece of fan art that I enjoy is uh, Andrew saying the word, among other things, incomfathomable. Take a look at Andrew's skills. He very much is a magic attacker. You've got 200% magical damage, 600% magical damage over six turns. 
You've got Focus, which is a mana burn for him. And Analysis, the next physical or magical hit will do triple damage once per fight, removed by any damage. So if I had a poison effect going on someone, or if they were burned, uh, dotted for whatever reason, that would be absorbed by the analysis, or that would absorb the analysis. Andrew is pretty fucking badass. But you know what? All the characters you can have in your party, got some nice things going for them. A worn scroll and a blazer. Which means that Jimmy no longer has to handle magic attack. We've got a support character in Helga. We've got a tank in Lars. And we've got a magic attacker in Andrew, allowing Jimmy to freewheel based on what I want from him. So, one of the reasons why I don't end up showing much love to Revolting Blob is that, well, the whole undulating and everything that it would do, the defense, Lars has got that covered. And a whole Seeker Meridian, full of new friends and old ones to speak with. But this seems like a good time to end. Just uh, doing the entire area of Everchip. Edie kicking the shit out of that dummy. We can rock with a party of four. And not that much dosh. A new adventure, a new land. A punch Tanaka. Yeah, this seems like a good time. Let us end here. I believe I've ended on this save slot again. The third time I've done so. Hm. Neat. Good times with Jimmy and the Pulsating Mask.